In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record a macro in Excel. Now, first, let me tell you what a macro is. A macro is basically like a little program within Excel that you can create, which will allow you to automate certain features or tasks, and thus do something much more quickly. Now, <coughs> there are two ways to make a macro in Excel. The first way is to actually type one out in Visual Basic code. And that uh, requires quite a bit more skill and understanding of Visual Basic. The way I'm going to show you here is much more simple and it just requires you to record what you're doing. So let's begin. First of all I have some text here, an employee Bob, employee from Dallas, Texas, just very simple. And what we're going to do is change the formatting of this with a macro. Now to record a macro, go up to the tools menu, go to where it says macro and then select record new macro. Once you do that, this screen will pop up and first you can select a name for your macro. So I'm just going to call it formatting. Give your macro a shortcut key. Now what this allows you to do is type in any letter or key here, say F, and then whenever you hit control F, it's going to run this macro and you choose where to store it. You can store it in this workbook or your personal macro workbook or a new workbook. Just is the place where to store it. If you store it in this workbook, it's only going to be accessible here. You can give it a description. So I'm going to say formatting employee information. Hit OK. And now this little box here pops up. And what that means is that Excel is recording every movement that you make with your mouse. So every click and everything you change is being recorded. So let's change the formatting here. I want to make Bob bold and employee italics, italicized. And then also Dallas, Texas, let's change the color of that to say a blue and bold. Now, just very simple changes, and when you're done making all the changes that you want, you go down to this box and click the little rectangle for stop recording. Now you've recorded a macro. So, in order to illustrate what the macro can do, let's take all the formatting off of the these, take off the bold, the color, and now there are two ways to run your macro. The quickest way is to use the shortcut that we just created, which was Control F. You can go up to the Tools menu and then go to Macro and then click Macros here. Or you can hit Alt F8. So there, choose the macro that you want. If you can't find it, go down to where it says Macros In and select All Open Workbooks, This Workbook, whatever is open. So I want to select this macro and I want to run it. And there you go. All of the text has been formatted immediately just like that. Now I'm going to show you it's even quicker if you just use the control F. So I just got this text in here and now I want it formatted. So control F and there you go. Now that was a very simple example of what you can do with a macro. They can be used to do many more powerful things, but this should give you a good introduction on how to record it and how to use it thereafter.